green salad with French dressing. Thank you very much. Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we continue with financial education for waiters. In the first video, I show you why the rich people get richer and the poor people stay poor. It's all about how we handle money, the different ways rich people handle money and the poor people handle money. But if you have not watched the video, check the link below, go watch it and then you're gonna have a better picture of why you, if you're not rich, are not rich and why so many other people are doing very, very well. Now, I have to make a disclaimer. This video is purely educational, all right? I'm gonna show you how I have invested already some money in the market and how I plan to keep investing the money in the near future, but that doesn't mean that I advise you to do the same thing. If you want to become an investor, you have to go and do your research. You have to go and find more education. Yes, I'm advising you to become an investor because this is the only way you or anyone else will become wealthy. Not by hard work, not by working many hours, not by having two jobs, by investing the way the rich people do it. So let's go. I will show you what I have done so far, what I'm going to do in the future. But remember, my strategy, my work, and my backfire. I am ready to pay the consequences. So once you decide that you're going to invest money, make sure that you're investing the money that you can afford to lose. Although, if you do the right thing, losing is very, very rare. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the money game is actually quite simple as long as you understand the basics. Now, here on the right side, you see investment capital, $50,000. All right. Now, my entry points, I'm going to buy the target stock is Win Win Resort. This is the top one of the top casinos in the world, one of the top casinos in Las Vegas. Company that's been proven a winner. <clears throat> uh, Steve Wynn is a visionary that changed Las Vegas. I have a tremendous respect for this man. He's not a CEO no more, but he's still at uh, the company. He still carries his name and uh, I'm pretty sure he's still uh, involved. Now, the entry points, uh, I decided on entry points on 50, 35 dollars, 15 dollars and 1 dollar. All right. So once the stock hit those levels, I'm buy. All right. And my exit point is 150 dollars. Now, in history, uh, the wind stock, the last 20 years, it's been going between 15, when the big uh, crash was in uh, 2009, all the way to 280 dollars. So 150 is uh, as a, just a normal price for this stock in a normal bull market. And that's why I am putting this as an exit point. Once the price hits 150, uh, I will be selling everything. I'm not gonna wait for 280. Uh, that's that's good enough for me. <clears throat> all right, and now I'm gonna explain for you how everything works. First of all, you have to understand that I already invested uh, $10,000 in uh, April this year. All right, uh, this is not gonna work like that. We need to make this much bigger. Let's say 18. Yeah, I'll say that. So, in April this year, 
the stock already hit so 18 is a little bit too much make it 16 50 dollars and i invested ten thousand dollars in it that means <clears throat> I bought 200 stocks of win, you know. So here is the dates that we make our entry points. This is the price that we make the entry points. This is the money invested at this particular date, the numbers of stocks that we buy, all right? And then you have the total invested to date, all right? So right now, at this date the total is 10,000 because this is our first investment and the current value at this date of the whole total investment is uh, also to $10,000 because you know nothing is changing at the same moment all right <clears throat> now projected value this is only what I project to make as a profit once the bull market is back on track and everybody is going everything is going up and uh, the prices are going up and uh, once the the wind stock hits 150 i'm exiting this and that's it right now you have to understand that the uh, once it hit 50 then the stock went on a big 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 run all the way to 69 plus which is a 40% increase in just about two or three weeks, all right? So a lot of people at this point will say, well, okay, if you make 40% profit on your 10,000 investment, that's $4,000, why don't you cash out? And I'm saying I'm not cashing out because I am playing the long game here. I'm not trying to make some quick bucks. I'm playing the long game. And then the other point is, well, but you're expecting that the stock will go back to $35 eventually, so you can buy again. Yes, I do expect that the stock is going to go down to 50 and then 35 and then eventually 15 And, you know, I do expect that because I expect that really big, probably the biggest financial crisis in the world is coming uh, in the next 12 months. But at the same time, you have never guaranteed that this is going to happen and the stock might never go back to 50 and if i sell it right now at you know <clears throat> 69 it was 69 uh and i make my ten four thousand dollars profit and this stock keeps going up and up and up all the way to 150 i will never have a chance to make my money I would just be left with $4,000 that you don't know what to do with $4,000. $4,000 is nothing. So, you make your plan. You decide how much money you're going to invest. Like I decide, $50,000. You make your entry points. Then you decide when is your exit point. And then you stick to the plan. All right? That's how you play the game. You don't try to time the market. You don't try to sell high and get low and this doing every single day or every single week or every single month because in the long run if you try to time the market you're gonna lose money all right so i got my 50 uh, my 200 stocks uh invested ten thousand dollars average price 50 bucks and <clears throat> i expect in few years if the market stays in a positive note to turn this into a thirty thousand dollars because 200 stocks uh multiplied by 150 bucks that's a thirty thousand dollars and this is the game i'm playing i don't need this four thousand dollars right now okay i am gonna make a lot of money or i'm just gonna keep waiting until i make a lot of money there is no another game there is no other plan that's the plan now Let's assume that the stock market is in a bear market and it's going to go down again and it's going to go down big, big, big time. And that's what I expect. I really expect by the beginning of next year or the end of this year, 
the market to go down big time and I will be able to uh, get my second entry point of $35. So let's assume now December 2022, the stock price to hit $35. And I'm going to invest another $10,000. All right. That will mean that I have bought 300 stocks approximately, a little bit less, but doesn't matter. I'm not gonna pay attention to few stocks. I just want to make sure uh, uh, this is as clean and uh, clear as possible. So now I have invested once $10,000 and now again $10,000. So total investment to date at this point, December 22, it's gonna be $20,000. All right, but the current value of my investment is going to be 500 stocks I have 500 stocks and the current price is 35 so the current value of the stock is going to be 1750 and as you see I have lost some money but I don't worry about that at all at all all right now if at this point we are done with the crisis and the uh, stock markets you know calms down and we enter a bull market i expect in two three years this price of wind stock to hit the 150 dollars and i'm just gonna cash out my 500 stocks on 150 and that's the seventy five thousand dollars. do you understand the game guys the more patient you are and the more you follow the you know the plan that you made the more money you're gonna make all right now this is only projected value all right this is somewhere in the future we don't know when that's gonna happen um, but right now on december 22nd i have invested twenty thousand dollars i have bought total of 500 wind stocks and then the value is 1750 like I said, I'm losing money, but I don't worry about nothing. Actually, I'm begging and I'm praying that the, the stock market keeps going down because people make money in, in financial crisis, all right? This is when I invest my money. I invest money when the market hits the bear market level. When the market hits 20% down from its peaks and it enters the bear market territory, this is when I start investing. Because historically proven is that if you start putting money, once the market hits the bear territory, you are going to make money in the long run. <clears throat> so I'm begging and I'm betting that the market will keep going down because maybe the war in russia and ukraine is going to be uh, getting worse maybe united states will get involved with uh, uh, a war between taiwan and china who knows what's going to happen i see a lot of problems going on in within the united states as well so i think about the middle of next year let's say june next year that's 2023 we are going to witness a really the most incredible crash and the stock is going to go to 15 bucks all right now i want you to pay very close attention to this point because if on june 23rd the stock is 15 dollars your initial twenty thousand dollars investment will be worth only only seven thousand five hundred dollars this is the point where the poor people freaked out get scared because everybody's going to be talking how the crash is is huge and how the end of the world is coming and how the stock market is going to zero and you're going to lose all your money 
and all the poor people start freaking out and they start selling all right so the the mindset is oh i invested twenty thousand dollars i was waiting one year and now from my investment it's left only seven thousand five hundred and everybody's saying it goes down better get out of this position and and save us whatever i have left because you know i'm gonna lose everything eventually all right so you go and you hit the sell button and you sell your 500 stocks of win and guess what to sell those 500 stocks of win for seven thousand five hundred dollars means that somebody on the other side of the line is buying guess who is buying warren buffett you know steve win all the big hedge fund managers those people are sitting on piles of cash right now as we speak warren buffett berkshire hathaway stays on 105 billion dollars in cash those people are waiting exactly for this day june 23rd when the market is really crashing when the people are freaking out everybody wants to get out of their position the price is going down and they are loving it because they know in just few short years they will become three times richer than they are right now all right and we the poor people that freak out and get scared and we sell when the market crashes we're just gonna get poor and poor and poor so instead of scaring and freaking out and selling i'm buying i'm buying another ten thousand dollars and i'm actually smiling because for this ten thousand dollars you know at the price of 15 i'm gonna buy 700 stocks of win all right so my total investment at this date is gonna be thirty thousand dollars but my actually current value at this price is going to be about eighteen thousand dollars all right so i'm losing big time i have lost already 40 percent of my investment but if instead of being scared and worried i'm just smiling and i'm enjoying it because i know that in just few short years i would turn this into a huge 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 profit because this is what i'm gonna get in two three years when the bull market is in full speed and the, you know the price hits 150 i'm gonna get for this 1200 uh, stocks of win i'm gonna get 180 thousand dollars all right this is gonna be the money that i'm gonna cash out at one point but <clears throat> now and this is where it gets really really interesting at this point i'm pressing the pause button i'm not investing no more right now from this point further if the market keeps going down i'm going to wait for the moment when everybody and i mean everybody even warren buffett start worrying and start selling which probably never gonna happen but uh, I, I'm, um, uh, hypothetically like i said everybody starts to worry because maybe we have a nuclear war maybe we have whatever hopefully we never had this but you never know i am hoping that this never happens but it's possible it's possible and the uh, the thing is when something so terrible happened you know the panic just takes over everybody's trying to sell and the, the 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 stocks are just going down and the thing is that people start talking about company getting broke and uh, getting out of business and you're losing everything and that's why people start selling it doesn't matter the price doesn't matter what kind of uh, uh, loss they have they start selling and that's exactly what happened in 2009 guys that's exactly what happened in 2009 so if we get to something similar like 2009 and let's say 
uh, about November 2023, everybody thinks that the wind is going broke and the stock goes to one dollar. This is when I am getting back involved into the game. All right, I'm gonna buy five thousand dollars. I'm gonna invest five thousand dollars into win with the clear mind that I might lose every single penny of the thirty-five thousand dollars I have invested in this stock. But at the price of one dollar, with these five thousand dollars, I'm gonna buy five thousand stocks can you imagine what that means this is the big money this is where people get rich i mean i mean ultra rich all right i'm investing here just some measly fifty thousand dollars but but those hedge funds are working with billions of billions of dollars and if this market hits this kind of point where everybody is freaking out and everybody thinks that companies are going out of business those people will invest billions and they will become multi-billion dollars profit in, in just a few years. All right. So my total investment at this point will be $35,000. But the total value of my investment will be $6,200. Because I'm going to own 6,200 stocks at price of $1. That's 6,200. All right. Now, mind you, this is a very rare case that might happen. But once everybody thinks that this wind stock goes down, I have no doubt that Mr. Steve Wynn will step in and save his company. I'm 100% sure that at this point, Mr. Steve Wynn will say, hey, you know what? How much is going to take? One billion, two billion, three billions from my own money, from my own cash? There you go. I got it. He's going to save the company and he's going to make sure it weathers the storm. And once everything comes down, this stock will hit again 150. And guess what, guys? This is almost, it's not exactly one million, but it very close to one million dollars all right that's about nine thousand three hundred nine hundred thirty thousand or something like nine hundred fifty thousand uh whatever but it's a one million dollars that's how you make money that's how you become a millionaire all right but now as you see i have invested thirty five thousand dollars in steve win stock but I have a capital of $50,000. And this is where I get my insurance. On November 23rd, when I invest, you know, pretty uh, scary $5,000 in, in, a, in, a, in a stock that everybody is talking that uh, they are going broke, I have to have my insurance. And I'm going to put the remainder of those $15,000 I'm going to put the $15,000 in different stocks, all right? So what probably I'm going to invest is some uh, like stocks like blue chip stocks like Mercedes-Benz or BMW, like uh, some healthcare stocks, or if it's a war going on, I will invest into uh, military stocks, all right? But to make the example simple, I would just go, uh, let's say we buy, uh, we put $15,000 into a Mercedes-Benz stock that at this point, with the biggest crash of all, let's say it goes to $10, to $10 a piece, all right? Because the normal price in the normal market, Mercedes is about $80, all right? So let's say it went down also, but not as much as the Steve Wynn stock. Um, it's a Mercedes. It will never get the other business. If they go into a trouble, the, the German government will save them. Uh, I got no doubt about it. 
and plus uh, this is a company that uh, that's just had tremendous respect and, and value so it will never go broke and um, <clears throat> for this fifteen thousand dollars at the price of 10 we're gonna buy 1500 stocks now let's assume that Steve Wynn went out of business and all this invested money and potential uh, value in the future is disappeared has disappeared they are broke you lose all the money that you invested in the normal stock in the common stock and that's that said you have nothing to talk about you have nothing to to, to brag about you're not going to make not a single penny from those thirty five thousand dollars that you invested but mercedes or whatever stock you choose military stock or hair stock survived and usually what i'm going to do is just going to spread five thousand in in healthcare five thousand in uh, military and five thousand in mercedes and then of course you got a little bit more uh, insurance uh, that not all of those companies will go broke okay that, let, let's put it this way so uh steve win went down but mercedes survive you have three four five years market goes back to normal you will hit the bull market and the stock goes back to normal price of 80 dollars 80 dollars you have 1500 stocks at 80 dollars that's hundred twenty thousand dollars all right so this is how you ensure that you're not losing your money all right you didn't make the million because Steve Wynn went broke but with the insurance you made you know on November 23rd buying some other different kind of stocks you just made a profit of hundred twenty thousand dollars all right so you are not a millionaire but you didn't lose your capital and you even made more than 100% profit. So that's how you play the game in a long run. Do not get scared. Do not get panicked. This is the worst thing you can do. You lose everything only because you're scared and you're selling when the big money makers are buying. All right. Now, <clears throat> I want you to uh, 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 look very carefully here because now I understand not everybody has fifty thousand dollars to invest. All right, but let's make it five thousand dollars with the same stock, with the same entry levels. Everything stays the same. You just make instead of ten thousand, a thousand, and then of course instead of five thousand five hundred all right and then here also 1500 listen guys everybody can afford to invest three four five thousand dollars in the next 24 months in the market all right so look at the numbers you know you have five thousand dollars you're gonna put three thousand five hundred in the stiff stiff wind stock and then of course you're gonna have some insurance if you hit this point where everybody thinks that the market is going to zero and everybody's gonna go broke and blah 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 this is you're gonna put your insurance money also uh, but let's go with the first uh, uh, entry point fifty dollars so you got a thousand dollars and the stock is at 50 so you buy 20 20 stocks all right that's thousand dollars current value and your potential profit is three thousand dollars i guess that's not bad all right let's say the market is uh, stabilized now and you just go and uh, and uh, hit uh, in about uh, one two year again uh, normal levels and you sell at 150 you made three thousand dollars all right that's not much money but this is money that come from money you don't work for this you made money from investing money and once you do this you know successfully once you will figure it out and you're gonna love to do it again and again and again you just gotta be patient all right 
but let's say that the price went also again down and you bought another 30 stocks at 35 with another thousand dollars all right so you have invested two thousand dollars you know your investment is cost 1750 but in just few short years you're gonna turn this to 7500 all right and like i said i'm expecting really big big crash like 2009 and there is no uh, i won't be war uh, you know surprised if the speed of price hit 15 dollars all right so you can invest another thousand dollars you buy 70 stocks and you know you invested three thousand your investment worth only 1800 but in just few short years maybe not just short years i don't care if it's a two three or five years doesn't matter you have to know that this is a cyclic business it goes up and down all the time eventually we're gonna get out of the bear market and we're gonna hit a bull market the price will go up to 150 and you're gonna cash out and you're gonna make eighteen thousand dollars so if you invest three thousand dollars in the next 12 months or 18 months and you make eighteen thousand dollars in the next two three years this is a big chunk of money out of almost nothing big chunk of money and of course if the scenario number four comes and the the, the, the you know the stock hits the one door um, then you know you just invest your 500 bucks you buy 500 stocks your total investment is 3500 gonna work uh, what is gonna work 650 yeah it's gonna be 100, 650 but in just few short years again like I said even if you have to wait five years man I don't care if you can turn three thousand five hundred dollars into a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> that's amazing they should be writing a book for you all right and uh, and a lot of people uh, do that and um, I gotta tell you something. In 2009, in 2009, Sands Las Vegas, which is the biggest company in the world, you know, like uh, casino company in the world, they were about to go broke. And what happened is just exactly what I told you that I expect Steve Wynn to do, you know. Mr. Adelson, the, the owner of the company, the CEO of the company, the guy that created the company and built all those beautiful hotels, he stepped in and invested $1 billion of his own money and he saved Sands Las Vegas. And this is a company that I used to work. I used to work for Mr. Adelson at the Venetian Las Vegas for many years. And he saves the company. The stock of the company was $1.30 at this point. And he saved it. And just few short years after that, the stock hit $180, $180. I mean, he became ultra rich. Of course, he was a billionaire already, but I mean, he became really rich. And of course, a lot of other people that bought the stock at this point uh, became uh, extremely rich as well. So this is not a, a, a you know, never happened. It, it happened already and probably will happen in the future. So it's a good Thing to know and expect those situations and take advantage of it all right this is it guys this is how you turn three thousand five hundred dollars into a hundred thousand dollars by not being scared and by being cool-headed and by being patient you know being patient it's very important that you are patient that you are saving your money so you can invest it at the right time and uh, and that's how you become wealthy all right this is all guys like i said this is not uh, uh advice to invest i don't want you to put your money in wind stock i don't want you to uh, use those entry points i don't want you to do the same thing i'm just showing you uh what i am doing and what's my future plans this is what i'm going this is exactly what i'm going to do uh, if this if this situation with the market happens um but i believe that 
knowledge like that, financial education, nobody's going to teach you that. Nobody's going to teach you that. But this is important for everybody that really wants to become wealthy and, and, and just financially independent because you don't become rich by working long hours and in, in, uh, in, uh, harder and harder uh, you don't become rich, okay? You can have a nice life. You can create a nice security, financial security for your family and all those kind of things, but you will never become rich. If you want to become rich, you have to learn how to use money to make more money. And this is, this is the proper way to do it, all right? We're going to discuss in the future some real estate uh, business, uh, but right now this... This is uh, probably the best situation. I'm expecting the market to crash, really. And I am uh, looking forward to um, the bigger the crash is, the more money we're going to make. Um, that's how it is, guys. That's how life works. All right. Take care of yourself. Stay out of trouble. Work hard. Save your money. And be ready to invest when the time is right. Peace.